In this video, I'm going to try to demonstrate uh, playing scales and playing chords using this keyboard uh, chord bar set. Now, I could use either the 46 string or the 37 string uh, to demonstrate this because the uh, keyboard chord bar set works exactly the same way on either one. But uh, I'm going to use the 46 string partly because the contrast between the uh, white keys uh, the diatonic scale keys in the key of C and the black keys, the sharps and flats that complete the chromatic scale is uh, show up a little better here. And I'm going to stand up and uh, get closer to the camera so you can hopefully get a better uh, view of the actual uh, action here. Now you can play uh, scales uh, the same way you would on a regular auto harp uh, you know, using your uh, uh, one five one four one four five one pattern uh, to uh, play your scale, uh, sort of like this. And play your do re mi scale, but. Uh, the really nice thing about uh, this auto harp is you can also just uh, play the notes one at a time uh, like you would on a, on a uh, uh, piano keyboard, sort of like this. Now, one thing I probably need to help explain so you sure, sure you understand, uh, this kind of uh, chord bar set actually works opposite the way a regular chord bar set would. On a regular chord bar set, uh, when you're not pressing any of the buttons, all of the strings can sound. On this one, when you're not touching anything, all of the strings are damped. So when I'm not touching it, they're all damped. And the way that works is there are little metal brackets. Uh, I don't think I can really show them to you very easily on this camera, but that come down from each chord bar underneath the strings, and there are little felt pads on those brackets. And so the springs that, move, that uh, provide the pressure on the chord bars and the upward motion, that spring pressure damps the strings on that uh, that are uh, the bra for the brackets uh, on that particular bar from underneath and when you press it down it releases and um, uh, the way this is set up uh, this uh, C note just damps and releases all of the C notes the C sharp damps and releases all the C's the D all the D's and so on so uh, like I say, when you're not pressing anything, there's nothing. And now also, some people have the misconception that just pressing the key makes the sound. No. All that does is release the string. You still have to pluck, just like you do, or strum, just like you do with the regular auto harp. And you have to, of course, coordinate uh, the timing of the plucking and strumming with the pressing down of your your notes to make your chords or to for your melody line. But let me give you an example now about making chords. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate the C chord in this case. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can make 84 C chords. <laughs> and I'm going to run through them all very quickly, and then I'll show you a little bit about how you do that starting with the C and all the major chords, C major chords, and then the C minor and related minor chords, and then the minus 9, 9, and plus 9 chords. So here we go. There are going to be 84 of them.
series was obviously those that sound most dissonant, which were the plus nine chords. Uh, and obviously, a lot of those chords, what you're really going for is the melody, uh, being able to walk the melody line or the bass line within the existing chord. You don't always play the whole chord as a strum, but it's uh, you, you can play at least all those 84 chords just for C. And similarly, you can do that for all 12 chords of the chromatic scale. So 12 times 84 gives you uh, over a thousand chords that you can play and transition between uh, using this uh, one uh, chord bar set. But of course, the main purpose that I like about it is it gives you the ability to get any harmony combination you want to walk the melody or the bass line uh, within a chord uh, and so on. Um, so, uh, and of course, the one other thing that's important to learn is how to transition smoothly uh, between all the chords and how to coordinate the um, pressing down of your keys uh, with the strumming and the plucking. Of course, that's a challenge with a regular auto harp. It's a challenge with this one, a little more challenge with this one since you're almost all the time pressing down uh, three, four, or five uh, uh, chord bars, uh, notes at, at a time and uh, working within that to find and to play uh, your melody line and you know, obviously your arrangements and your harmonies. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> Wanted to show you a little bit about how you make all of those chords. Again, back to the C chord. If you have the one, three, and five note, the C, E, and G, to make the basic major chord. And all the other chords you make by sharping or flatting or double sharping uh, either the root note, the C, uh, to come up uh, one, two, or three steps for your minus nine, nine, and nine chords. Uh, or uh, back to the basic C chord uh, to make your plus two and uh, or your two and your four chords, which are the suspended second, suspended fourth, you either uh, double flat or sharp that uh, three note, the E. So here would be those chords. That and the C. And uh, then your uh, flatted fifth and your plus five, sharp five, which is your augmented chord, you do by taking that five note and either flatting it or sharpening it for the augmented chord. So, and of course for your minor chord, you take your three note, the E, and you flat it to the E flat. And all the chords, all 12 chords of the chromatic scale work essentially the same way. And of course to any of those chords you can add the 6 or the 7, what we call the C, like in this case the C7, uh, which is really the flatted 7th, but the convention calls it the C7, and then the true 7, which is up to the B note, uh, we call the C major 7. So you could go... And of course, you can play all kinds of permutations and combinations uh, to get all those various chords, those 84 chords I played for you. Uh, but uh, once you learn how to play your root note chords, uh, like the C, the C, E, and G, or the D, uh, and so on, um, by sharpening and flatting that 1, 3, and 5 note of that chord, and by adding the 6, 7, and major 7s, you can fairly easily create all those chords. Anyway, uh, like anything, it takes a lot of practice, but uh, it opens up a lot of wonderful uh, possibilities. Uh, so that's it for now, and I uh, hope to get to see you sometime and maybe show you up close and personal 
uh, how these harps work. <laughs> 